At first glance, you think her body is bent at the waist, but you can see that it's actually her ribcage that's bent. The lower half of the ribcage is in line with the abdomen, going forward at about a 45 degree angle with the floor. The upper half of the ribcage slants backward at about a 45 degree angle with the floor. So the upper half of the ribcage is bent back about 90 degrees from the lower half. She liquefied the bone cells in that part of her ribcage so that the motion would bend it. You can also see that she's morphing her left hand and forearm, showing the elbow bulge and bent back thumb. These two are showing the flexibility of their plasticized bodies. They can morph their spines and then bend them backwards. They could fold their bodies in half, but there's a limit to what they're willing or permitted to show. They can morph their hip joints and then bend or rotate them in any direction, at least 90 degrees from the standing position. She's accomplished this by rotating her pelvis 90 degrees backwards, and you can tell that it's absolutely effortless for her. She's also reverting the middle knuckles of her left hand to show that she's a drac. They can morph their finger joints and then bend or rotate them in any direction at least 90 degrees from the aligned position, pointed straight out from the hand. I frequently see the bent back thumb, but I don't see other fingers bent too often, as Denzel Washington is showing here. They're able to hold objects with the joints of their fingers bent backwards. That's what you're seeing here. You can't do this with a human hand. Even if you force the joints into those positions, the muscles wouldn't have any grip strength to hold on. But they can do this because their bodies are motivated by their polymorphic ability. They can morph their knees and then bend or rotate them in any direction at least 90 degrees from the standing position. The official explanation is that these are people with hyperextended knees, but looking at this, that's clearly not the case. Human muscles don't allow for reverse leg movements like this, and they simply can't bend to this extent because the patellae would interfere. None of these individuals have patellae. They've ungenerated them so that they're able to walk with their knees backwards. In a human body, the quadriceps muscles are attached to the patella, so without that, they won't work at all. Once again, this shows that their bodies don't function through muscle mechanics. The muscles in the thigh are only capable of contracting and extending to a certain point. The quadriceps are basically fully contracted when the leg is extended straight out. They can't over-contract to cause the knee to bend in the reverse direction and the same is true of the hamstrings in terms of extension. Also notice that the boy in the middle frame and the girl in the top right frame have the same torso curvature that I showed earlier in the reversion section. Look at the agility this child imitation displays here. Not only is he not hindered by this, He's far more agile than any human with normal legs. He's also morphing his arms to accomplish this. The only thing he wouldn't be able to do is run fast.
This one is demonstrating ankle and knee rotation as he's able to turn his feet almost completely backwards. Some of the turn is in the knees and the rest is in the hips and ankles, which adds up to about 180 degrees. The thighs are rotated about 90 degrees to the outside, and the lower legs are rotated about 90 degrees from the thighs. The ankles aren't rotated at all. They can morph their shoulder and elbow joints and then bend or rotate them in any direction, at least 90 degrees from the arms straight out to the sides. The one on the left has rotated his shoulder joints 180 degrees laterally from the lowered position. Presumably he rotated them inward. The one in the middle has rotated his shoulder joint 180 degrees vertically from the lowered position, obviously going backwards. The one on the right has bent her right elbow backwards at about a 45 degree angle. They can morph the vertebrae of their necks and rotate their heads almost 180 degrees laterally. Maybe more, but that's as far as they're willing to show. Here's the video that's the source of that frame. Also notice that he decompresses his head somewhat when it's facing backwards. Here's a demonstration of shoulder morphing flexibility. Now he's elongating his torso and neck. He's morphing the vertebrae in his back so that he's able to rotate the upper half of his body backwards from the lower half. And he can walk like that. There's the head decompression on the left, and the other one is reverting his right hand and arm. Even in motion, it's clear that the right hand is much larger than the left. Here's another flexibility and shape-shifting video. He starts out with his spine reverted to its natural curvature, the same forward slanted abdomen and back slanted ribcage that you saw earlier in the reversion section.
His head is facing forward and his feet are facing backward, so his spine is twisted nearly 180 degrees. He reverts the curvature of his spine again. He's folded his spine in half so that the back of his head is below his buttocks. If you think it's possible for a human to do this, you're a moron. If this were a human body, the back would be broken and the abdominal muscles would also be torn. All of the contortionists are Drax. That's why they can do these things. Looking at these frames, you can see that his cranium elongates as he folds backwards. We know that's a reversion to the native form, which proves that he's a drac. This one is mostly reversions. He's reverting his abdomen and lower rib cage. Now he's repeatedly reverting and shifting his shoulders back to the human imitation form. He's repeatedly reverting and shifting back his abdomen and rib cage with the bottom of the ribcage bulging out, just as we saw in the reversion section. Now he's compressing his ribcage to a smaller circumference. He's repeatedly reverting and shifting back his scapulae. If you did this with human knees, all the ligaments would snap. <laughs> 